For the Thrive Architect plugin for WordPress, we've released a new landing page set called Bright. And in this video, I want to give you a tour through all of the pages in this set. Let's start with the lead generation pages. So everything you need to create an opt-in funnel. Here's an example of one of the lead generation pages. And as you can see, this is not an entirely conventional design. This is more content than you would usually find on a lead generation page. This is on purpose. We, we have several lead generation pages and we mix things up a bit. So here you have an almost long form lead generation page, which is by the way, a two step lead generation process. So we have these buttons when you click on them, it reveals the opt in form. So the idea here is that you can take a bit more time to explain the purpose of your page, to explain how cool your offer is and to win people over. And as you can see, we basically have a main section here with an image which is editable and the main heading. You can also have your tagline or your logo or something like that here. And then you can list some highlights from your product here. You can have a feature section like this to further advertise the product and even some testimonials, which I think are generally underutilized when it comes to, to lead generation. So of course you can also use lead generation to win people over to, to provide social proof for your free offers and not just on sales pages. So here we've got some testimonials and then we have got a second call to action area where once again, we have the trigger for our opt-in form. So that is only one of the lead generation pages. The next one is this one here. This is a much more, let's say classic design, big headline, image, call to action and opt-in form. Very, very simple but this can be super effective. So that is the second, this is the one step lead generation opt-in form. And then we have another variation here, which is again, it's just a, a different design. So we've got large headline, image, some bullet points and an opt-in form. And again, we have a couple of testimonials here. This is a bit of a, this is basically a middle ground. So as you can see, we have a very compact opt-in page. We've got a long opt-in page with a lot, quite a lot of content for an opt-in page and we've got something in between. And this is also a great thing where you can do an A-B test. You can test these against each other to see which approach works best for your website and your business. Then the further steps in an opt-in funnel, if you use a confirmed opt-in process, you can send people to this page after they opt in, which simply explains Check your email inbox, open the confirmation mail, click on the confirmation link for the next step. Pretty simple. And of course we provide a template for this because your email marketing systems default confirmation page is probably ugly and terrible. And it's much better to send people to a page that is still on your website and still keeps a consistent scent. So it still looks and feels the same as the page before. And then we've got a download page. So once someone clicks on the confirmation link, you can send them here and you simply link this up to your downloadable, if that's what you're giving away. And we also have just a bit of social sharing. So that can also, here the idea would be that with these buttons, you would share not the download page, but the opt-in page. So you could send some more traffic to your opt-in page, get more people through the funnel. Next up, we have got all the pages you need to create live webinars. So we've got a webinar registration page which is also a two-step opt-in process. And here we advertise the host and the time and date of the webinar event. And then some bullet points to explain what people will learn, a countdown to when this event will start, and the second call to action. So this is our webinar registration page. And then we have a confirmation page. So once someone has signed up, you can send them to this page. This confirms that they've been signed up. It gives them a reminder of the time and date. We have social buttons to share the registration page with. And another thing that I think is good to do on a page like this, instead of just saying, okay, you've signed up, bye-bye. You basically say, you give, you give these engaged visitors who've just signed up for something, you give them something else to do. So for example, you can link them to a blog post on your website where they can further engage with your site and learn more about what you do. So that is the webinar confirmation page. Next, we have a webinar live streaming page. And we have a course that I will link to below 
that explains how you can actually set up a whole webinar funnel and do live streaming webinars without needing any expensive software. And this is the page you would use for this. So here we've just got a video. You would embed your live streaming video right here. And we've got a bit of text, which is when people come here and the live stream hasn't started yet, or even if it has started and they're not sure about it yet, the idea is that they have something to read which advertises why they should stick around and why this event is worth paying attention to. And then we have some comments. So you can embed Facebook comments if you want to engage people in conversation or give them the opportunity to participate. This is a pretty good way to do it because they can post comments here and it will, you know, it won't refresh the page or anything. They can post comments here and then just continue watching here. And so one thing about this is that the comment section is out of view of the video here, which is in most cases fine because people are, have very little patience to just watch a video permanently. And so they'll probably be scrolling around anyway. Um, you can change the layout if you prefer. You can move the comment section next to the video, but keep in mind that that only works on large screens. On smaller screens, it'll be below the video again anyway. But anyway, that's something to also to keep kind of people busy who are scrolling around and not just watching the video, which is going to be many people. Then we have a webinar replay page. So after the live event, you can have a webinar. You can also have this tends to work quite well. Instead of just having a permanent replay, you can have a time limit on the replay. So here we have your webinar replay. And if you have a special offer or something advertised in the webinar, you can have a call to action for that here text with the same idea as before. Um, tell people why they should pay attention to this if they're not quite sold on it yet. We have a, a brief thing about the host. So we're introducing the host with a quote here as well to give it a bit of a personal touch. And then a second call to action. And we also have a webinar missed page. So once the whole thing is over, you can replace your webinar registration page with this to tell people, okay, you missed out, but you can sign up to get notified of the next one. And finally, we've got two sales pages. We have the fully tutorialized, mostly text sales page about which there is a separate video. And we have a short video sales page. So here is when you use video as your main selling tool. We basically just have a quick uh, logo, headline, subheading, and then the video, and then your purchase area and call to action. And that's it. A bit of testimonials here, but as you can see, it's like mainly a video the, the main selling here and the main content delivery would happen through the video on a page like this. So those are all the pages in the bright landing page set. And as you can see, almost no matter what it is that you want to do or sell or how you want to get leads, you've got a page ready to go.